So tonight you guys are gonna get to see me kind of dropsy up. This is a word. This is a word. This is a word. Okay, so I'm in my dressing room at Hope and Anchor, and you guys are gonna see. Actually, if you notice, I went like hardcore and completely shaved off my eyebrows. Normally, it would take me like just like 45 minutes to an hour just to cover my eyebrows, but I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do all that. I'm not gonna spend all that time. And sometimes it just looks like a hot mess anyway. Um, if you wonder like how men make their like man parts go away, usually I use something called a gaff. It's an undergarment that basically just grabs everything and puts it in place. But I left that in Detroit, so I had to go old fashioned. <laughs> and this is y'all, this is duct tape. So basically what I did was I kind of made like a strip and then I made like a triangle on the top and I basically made it into like a pair of tape briefs. One trick is to shave before you do it because if there's any hair anywhere that the tape is, it's gonna be pulling. And I can feel like a little pulling and by the end of the night, it's gonna be like not super comfortable to sit down. Something to know. As far as moisturizer, I don't, I'm not deep. Like I will find whatever, like this is some little, this is some like little Neutrogena like body lotion. And I think it might even be like from a hotel or something like that. And then my foundation, this is Camouflage System. Dermacolor is the company that makes it. I use it because I'm trying to cover like beard stubble and all that stuff. Whatever you have on your face, this is gonna cover. Oh, I also have, this is called Beard Cover. And the whole idea of this is that it's supposed to just cover the stubble. I'm also gonna be using, this is just like a triangle sponge. So now I have my foundation on. So just again, another thing is, um, I'm not, I don't know if these products are, are cruelty free. These are things that I've had for years. I bought these before I was an ethical vegan. Most of what I'm using is Mac. And so if you know anything about Mac, I would love it for people to tell me down, like, you know, are these products that people should use? Are these products that people should avoid because they're not cruelty free? This is HD Celeb Pro Cream Makeup. And this is what I'm using as my highlighter. It's kind of got like a goldish tint. So I highlighted my cheeks, my nose, my chin, my jawline, and my forehead. My powder is Ben Nye Luxury Powder. It's banana. This is what I use to just kind of keep um, setting each layer as I put it on. Also, I'm gonna be using this puff applicator. As you can see, I've powdered it all. So that's basically what my foundation looks like. This is the Ben Nye CSK31 Mojave Contour Wheel. It's got various colors. This yellow is the yellow that I used to use as my highlights, and that's all gone. I use the hell out of that. Generally speaking, I use, you know, when I'm gonna use it for contour, I use this really, really deep dark. It's like a really super rich brown. I'm hoping that you can see. So now that I've put on the contour, I'm gonna use this dark powder. I can't even see the name of it. This stuff is, y'all, my stuff, I'm so busted. It's MAC, it's a MAC color, but I can't tell you what it is because this thing is like, is wore off, but this is some dark MAC color. Oh, actually one step that I forgot, I'm gonna go in with this. It's a press powder and it's a, it's a MAC press powder. And I'm gonna be using this actually before I set my contour. Usually I use this to set my highlights. Mm, I hope you can see the difference. So it kind of just brings the highlights back out again. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the contour. That's how that looks. I'm gonna blend this all later, but I kind of just wanted to settle. I wanted to cook a little bit before I go back and blend everything. So I just added a little eyeliner and I added it in like in my, I guess that what they call it, the tear line or whatever that, whatever that line is on the bottom. So I basically just used this brush and I used the, like the lightest color in the contour. And I'm gonna go in, I have this, this is called Cosmic Blue and it's been nigh. It's a cream, it goes in, it's gonna be real, real dramatic and I'm just gonna fill in. I'm gonna fill in everything with that and then I'm gonna go ahead and contour that and see how it works out. So that is the effect that I ended up with. It was such a struggle with my eyebrows today, y'all. So, but this is pretty much where I'm gonna go. So I just went in and did a little bit more highlighting around the eyes. I, I went in with, with, some, with some white. I don't like to use white that much unless it's something that I really am just like, this must pop. And so I just did it around my eyebrows. So yeah, I did go back in with that purple finally. And 
I'm a little happier with it. It's a li it's it's much less Bozo the Clown and more like a the dramatic look I was kind of going for. I'm also gonna anyway. I'm starting with this ruby red, which is a MAC color. I'm gonna use this lip stain. I have this brown liner, so I'll probably use that. I'm gonna go over top of the whole thing with this MAC lip gloss. Mm. So this is the look, it's coming together. I just went in and I used this MAC. Again, I don't know what it is. It's kind of like a multi-tone, like, like all this stuff is old. It's like a multi-tone. And I went with this brush and I just kind of Okay, so I have my lashes on. So the next thing I'm adding is this Ben Nye liquid eyeliner. Sometimes I'll be feeling myself. Anyway, so I added the eyeliner and the great thing that the eyeliner does is if I don't get the lashes on quite perfectly, it just fills in the gap. So I basically just start from the corner and work out and give myself a little like little swoosh. If you go to Ricky's, they have this big old like Afro puff wig that you can get and she's whatever she is. But what I do is I condition it and then when it dries, it turns into this really kind of, this is the hair. We basically just put a bobby pin in it and I may do a little bit of hairspray thing, but you know, I gave myself a little choker. It does not match at all, but it's what I had and I have to cover up this Adam's apple. These are Dropsy Shoes. They are vegan. And I hope that everybody can see everything. There's the skirt. I've got a little skirt. And there's my little go-go boots. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Dropsy Desmond signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto, big guns and dickies. I love myself.